Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Cooler Master V8 GTS CPU cooler. And this is basically a bigger, badder version of the original V8 cooler, and um, which came with a single fan design. This comes with two 140 millimeters, which is awesome for optimal cooling. And as you can see on the box, it comes with these uh, integrated red LEDs, which give it a pretty sick look. I saw it a while back on um, online, and I thought to myself, this is the Terminator cooler. There are some things on the box I'd like to mention before digging in. First up is that this heatsink, this cooler, has won the Red Dot Design Award 2013. Pretty cool. And some features I'll gloss over before I go over the actual heatsink. You get triple radiators, a setup, and you also get horizontal vapor chamber technology, which makes up the base plate of the cooler. And um, you also get two 140 millimeter fans, which are fourth generation bearing, which means they are dustproof and last a long time, up to 160,000 hours, what's listed here. And now for a rundown of some of the specs. So first off, it's compatible with Intel LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, 1150, and 775 sockets, as well as AMD FM2. FM1, AM3+, plus, AM3, and AM2 sockets. And also, the heat sink weighs over two pounds, so that is something to consider when installing it onto your motherboard. Um, it just also means it's very sturdy, and basically I've read online that it's easier to install it with the motherboard out of the case due to the sheer size. And some other dimensions, fan speed, they come with P PWM connectors, so you get a fan speed from 600 to 1600 RPM, airflow of 28 to 82 CFM, and also uh, <clears throat> noise level of 36 decibels. Here is everything that comes in the box, the cooler itself, which I will go over in just a little bit, and she's a beauty. All right, on this side, we have some documentation, so you get a two-year warranty, user manual in English, quite helpful, I made sure to look through it myself, and user manual in various different languages, Italiano, Netherlands, and all that, there's Espanol and Chinese too. Over here, you get the Intel backplate for the non-2011 socket setups, and the retention plates, which you also use for the LJ2011 setup, these are for Intel, of course, and next to that, you get the AMD backplate, and two sets of AMD retention plates, and that is because you can, uh, this will enable you to mount your cooler in different orientations on the motherboard. The Intel LGA 2011 standoffs, and a bag of your various other uh, mounting hardware for your AMD and LGA setups, anti-vibration soft pads for AMD setup, a wrench to fasten the screws into place, and of course, some thermal compound. Now for a closer look at the heatsink. We'll start on this end. On the back here, you get your two pin connector for, uh, to power the LEDs, and two four pin connectors for the two fans. They all run, um, uh, they're all run by this four pin connector, so it keeps the cable clean. You can tell it's also sleeved. Now, as to the heatsink itself, comes with uh, three radiators. That's right, you heard correct. It is a triple radiator um, setup. I did also mention this earlier. And you get aluminum fins. They're thick fins, and you get some grooves here, as well as on this side for more efficient cooling. And the two smaller stacks on the outside, you get 37 uh, aluminum fins. And the center stack, which is larger, you get 45 aluminum fins. And to top it off, you get this shroud with the Cooler Master logo here that goes around the fins. And what this plastic shroud does is that it directs airflow through the center of the heatsink with little room for air to escape while it is cooling. And now for the heat pipes. <clears throat> As you can see, on either side, well, you get eight six millimeter heat pipes, first of all, but on other side for the smaller stacks, you get dual heat pipes that run through them. 
as well as four heat pipes or eight um, if each U-shaped construction is considered a pair of heat pipes that run through the main stack in the center here. For, you get some pretty amazing cooling there. And down on the bottom, these two sides that jut out, of course, they are the mounting points for mounting this cooler onto your motherboard. And on the bottom is the <clears throat> uh, horizontal vapor chamber base. And what this basically is, the uh, entire base plate essentially is a flat heat pipe. And it's to direct um, the heat away from the CPU and into the eight heat pipes as fast as possible. Let me peel this back so you can get a better look at uh, that base plate. And of course, the LEDs you'll be able to see all through here, as I mentioned in the box. And one last thing, of course, is that you get these two 140 millimeter fans. Let me turn it so you get like a better view. There we go, of the blades and all that. Sandwiched between these three radiators. How cool is that? That wraps up our overview on this Cooler Master V8 GTS CPU cooler. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.